Hey everyone, how's it going? Let's play some Slay the Spire. So, I think I'm gonna pick up our good friend, the Watcher, and we are on Ascension 6. Let's just see if we can climb up another level here. So, we can take 18 damage to remove two cards. Yeah, uh, I don't think so. Um, choose a card, get hit points, or swap our relic. Well, I like swapping our relic, um, but let me look at the map just to see what kind of a path we've got. So how many fires can we get to four into the slime boss if we go to the left? But how many elites can we get? One, two. Two elites and four fires, or... three elites and one, two, three fires. I like the idea of the three elites. The only problem is they're kind of back to back without much of a rest. Or, now I could take three elites, just not take the uber elite and skip this fire. Yeah, I think I'll do that. It does mean that I don't get a shop the entire run, uh, the entire act, but that's okay. Oh, look at that. We got energy. Terrific. I love this key. Okay, so if I eruption, I will get two extra energy. And then I can strike for 24 plus 9 is 33. It doesn't kill the guy, but I will be able to get 10 block, and he'll do 12. Yeah, I'll do it. I'll take the damage. We'll take him down right now. Speed Potion. I really like this card. Even though it's a power and it's slow, getting a smite every turn is ridiculous. It's kind of like, in a way, it reminds me of the Watcher's um, card to add shibs, but it's just better because smites do way more damage and they retain. I mean, shibs have their place, but I think you understand, hopefully, what I mean. I'm not actively trying to bash shibs. Now, one thing I want to observe just right up front is how nice it is to have the extra energy from the Cursed Key in that I can play Vigilance on the first turn to get myself in Calm so that I can play Eruption, get the extra energy, and just go Berserk. Like, I mean, you know, just empty my hand, and now I get to Smite, um, and it's over. Fairy in a bottle. Okay. This is an interesting choice. I really like this card. It's a strike plus that lets you exit your stance. Now, it forces you to exit your stance. You might not want to do that. This is a strike plus that also can apply a weak. So you could save a lot of health with a card like this. I'm going to go for this now. Um, do I want two hallway fights or one and two events? I'm going to take one. Okay. So this is not the time to eruption. We couldn't have killed him. It was close, but it wasn't there. He dies this turn pretty much no matter what we draw, but that's better. I don't know if there's ever going to be a time when I say no to this card. I mean, of course there is, but it's like... It's so attractive defensively, it's like a glacier for the defect for me. Well, yes, I will take the Golden Idol every time, and... Um, 
Yeah, I'll take an injury. Am I going to take another curse? I kind of want to take another curse. The only problem is that uh, there's no... With my current path, I don't... Oh, what am I talking about? Yeah, no, I don't get to a shop if I want to fight the third elite. But I think that this relic is so good that um, I'll swerve away just to keep upgrading cards every single turn. I'm going to wake him up. I could wait around for something better, but I'm just going to get this protect. Um, and so I can set up for next turn by doing protect, defend, strike, something like that. I could vigilance. And then eruption. <laughs> but, yeah, no, I can't do that. I could Vigilance now just to be in Calm and set up Eruption later. Um, but I think this is fine. Just doing some damage this turn. Here we go. I'm going to use that potion just to protect myself. And now it is time to Eruption when he is debuffing all right we just need to draw some damage and we should be okay i mean that's the thing that's so nice Ooh, how good is that okay so I kind of was poo-pooing on Wallop before, and now I understand how good this card is. Um, and it is two energy, and it's great with our four energy. This is a pretty nice way to reliably get block, but I like having a Wallop. I'm going to go here. Um, I don't think there's anything... I think lifting um, is what I want to do. just get myself roided out what did it do wait a minute where did that card go hmm. I'm not sure what just happened there okay All right, so he's going to do 16. I can wallop him and get a bunch of block. Yeah, it's really good against Gremlin Nob because it counts as an attack. And so I'm just going to be getting defend without making him stronger. All right. I think Eruption Smite Strike does it, doesn't it? it this would be 34 plus 14. Um, 48, yeah, he's gone. Man, I had an empty fist in case I didn't hit it. Oh, boy. Wish is so gratuitous, but I love it. Mummified Hand is tremendous oh that's right i'm just going to be cursed out because of um <laughs> my key i have three curses that's funny all right let's not worry about that right now this is so insane we just have plus two strength 
and now we block for everything and can do this and just do everything because of our mummified hand. Now pain is hurting us, but still. Perfect. All right, you want to do 11 damage to me? I can't wish and kill him. Which is frustrating. Well. No, I can't. Like, he's going to hit me and die, but he's going to do 11 damage to me. And I'd really like to be able to lift at this instead of have to rest. It's only 25 gold. It's not a huge deal. Let's just keep the health. I think um, the health is worth it. I love foresight, and I have a mummified hand, so let's do it. All right. Let's see what we got. Oh, there's a lot of really, really good cards here. This is interesting. I've never messed with this. Gain one block for each card in your hand. So basically every card that you've retained, you're going to gain the block. And I do have Battle Him and I have Protect. Wave of the Hand is really good. Akabeko is pretty darn good. Especially with Wallop. I could get another Wish. And just have a bunch of Wishes. Am I crazy? Yes, I am. All right, let's finish lifting. That's enough steroids for one go. Remember, too, I do have the fairy in a bottle if it gets nuts. Hmm. Yes, that's what I was hoping for. Just make the wish free. Perfect. Um... And it got upgraded by my tongs. I mean, I think you always take the 30 gold just for the sheer value of it. Pay for the mirror. Oh, Vigor. Vigor plus our three strength just one shot that guy. All right. I mean, I guess I could just try to hang on for my other wish, but I don't know. Bowling Bash could help me out against the Slime Boss pretty significantly. All right. So now we do have to rest. Um, well, we don't have to. Do we want to get Fairy in a Bottle value and just upgrade a card and just be super... Super greedy about everything. I think that um, making this innate is quite good because I have the mummified hand. And so it's like it's going to be a discount on turn one and just get that amazing card into play. Let's go ahead and drink this, and then... Um, I don't want to split him. Isn't that funny that I have to even think about that? Um, let's see. So 24 would take him down to 94, and then 
I could do 22 and he would go down to 72 and that would not split him. And then we could split him next turn. Actually, I think we're probably going to kill him next turn. What's funny is, like, do I really want to kill him? Or do I want to play a bunch of wishes? I'm going to get... This is ridiculous, but I'm going to get greedy here and just... Um, let there be two four health guys and try to wish... Boy, this guy is angry. So let's just... Um, wish for gold and kill this dude. Perfect. And then... We keep getting this. This thing is just ridiculous, but whatever. That was the greediest slime boss. But I like it. I like the greed. Um, I think Devaform is terrific. And it's like, because I have the mummified hand, it just reduces um, its hit that it puts on you. It is pretty much the echo form of the watcher in that it's th it's a three cost power that is just so transformative but it's it's slow um so i'm gonna, I'm gonna do it well interesting um i don't want the runic pyramid pandora's box is very interesting to me But I could also go um, Astrolab and have a little bit more control over what happens. No. I'm going to go Pandora's box. Look at this. Look at this. Yeah, I think that worked out pretty well. Prey is kind of, you know, not great, but I wanted one of these. I wanted one of these. Um, yeah, this is terrific. All right. Well, everyone, thank you so much for tuning in for this episode of Let's Play Slay the Spire here in 2020 with The Watcher. We're climbing up. I'm trying to learn this class, and I'm just having a blast. <laughs> uh taking a break from ascension 20 with the defect and it's a the game's you know um more forgiving but it's also as i have learned you can't let your guard down you could still lose very easily um i can't be too greedy with these two wishes but then again sure I hope you guys enjoyed this, found it entertaining. And if you did and you haven't yet subscribed to the channel, could you please do so? I'd really appreciate it. Hope you have an excellent evening or day. And please, if you've got any questions about the Watcher or if you have any advice, which is more probable, about how to play the Watcher better after you see me um, kind of stumble through it, I would love it if you would leave that in the comments below and um, help educate me on to becoming a better Watcher player because I really enjoy uh, the way the Watcher plays. All right, everybody. Thanks again for watching. Take care.